Hey guys, welcome to today's 20th lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300, so Microsoft Office as Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019. And before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new presentation and certification training materials. And now, without further ado, let's begin with today's objectives. And today we actually start the last big section of the certification, which is to know how to apply transitions and animations. And specifically today we will learn ap about applying and configuring slide transitions, so things like applying basic and 3D slide transitions, configuring transition effects, and that is for another day. So, let's begin by applying basic and 3D slide transitions. For transitions, it's convenient to go to the slide sorter view, so you can see all of your slides, and now we have to go to the transitions tab. So, transi transitions enable you to change the way the slide appears or disappears in a slideshow. You have a variety of transitions here. This one is 3D. The others are the others are considered, frankly, 2D. And all of the transitions, as we can see, have a specific name associated with it. And to apply transition to this slide, let's say we want to apply exciting fracture transition. We go to the exciting group. We find the fracture and we click it and as you can see we PowerPoint has played a preview of the transition we can click on the star which indicates that we have a transition applied to preview it again or we can simply click this preview button okay to apply this transition to more slides we for example hold shift key and click slide 95 and apply the fracture transitions fr transition to all we can also when we want to select slide 98 uh, including those three slides we can click the control key and you can see that now we have all those four slides selected let's undo that and one more thing is that certain transitions have special effect options so for example let's choose this push transition and in this case the exam might require you to choose certain effect so you can see that we can choose push from the fr from left from right from top so be careful about this option and one cool thing in PowerPoint that is that you can select certain range of slides or just one slide and choose a random transition in which you don't have these effect options but each slide has a random transition applied, okay? Perfect. So let's return to our slides we have applied and configured basic transitions and now let's talk a bit about the 3D or more specifically morph transition so what morph does is it transitions from one slide to another in the way that it transforms the object that is shared by all two slides okay so for example let's insert here this shape and a 3d shape so no icon 3d shape from this device let's choose the one we have already seen and let's position it like that and in order for those two slides to share these objects we have to copy them or we can simply duplicate the slide but for now let's just copy them and let's modify them a bit 
so for example we can change the size change the position change the color and for the 3d shapes we can again change the rotation like that and maybe make it a bit larger okay now we will apply the morph transition but first uh, let's get rid of those two transitions and in order for this object to transform into these objects we have to select the second slide and click morph and as you can see all of the two objects have beautifully transformed into the, the new version of the objects. So that is how you create and configure the 3D transition effect. I hope you find it valuable. If so, smash that like button. Please subscribe if you want to see more certification training materials. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!